St. Patrick's Day. Like you were saying. It's green. We're wearing green. Yeah, we're dressed in green. Although I'm not Irish. <laughs> Everyone's a bit Irish. We have no plans to go party and drink whiskey, but <laughs> at least we decided to dress in green. Last night I wrote a post about, um, or actually I asked you guys, like, what would you like to read about? And one reader suggested that I should write a post about like how's Delhi feeling like we're moving to Finland. What does he think about it? And and also you, you know the same person suggested that I should do more videos. So okay, I'm adding up both both of those ideas into one. And I want these videos to be kind of like I don't I don't write a script for these. But this time I wrote some down some questions that I'm gonna ask Delhi. Delhi hasn't seen the questions, so it should be kind of surprise, fresh and funky, surprise. So uh, we want it to be as natural as possible, not scripted. Okay. So Delhi, first question: You yeah. are moving to Finland, correct? Yeah. Yes. When are you moving? I'm moving to Finland around uh, end of June. End of June? Yeah. No, in the middle of June. Because you want to spend your yeah, with us. Around yes. there. Um, okay, so what is, how are you feeling right now? I'm excited. Although I've only been to Finland during summer, is that I don't really have like image what it's like during winter, but, mm -hmm. but overall I'm very excited, like experience new things. Although um, hearing things from Elena and friends or mother like winter is very uh, depressing or <laughs> but uh, despite all those I think it, it is going to be kind of like adventure for me like mm -hmm. discover uh, new that Christmas me. wonderland no kidding okay so you said you're excited so what are you the most excited about most excited about reindeer meat reindeer meat what is that in Finnish um, Diasta. No, what is reindeer in Finnish? I don't remember. Poro. Poro, yeah. Well, I, I love the Short reindeer memory. meat. Yeah. Okay, uh, so the food's good? Yeah, food is very good, delicious. Uh, although, the first time I thought it was a little bit weird, because you guys have one uh, bread kind of thing. You guys have a rice instead of a bread, right? Ah, uh, uh, the Karelia? Kare Karelia? Yeah. 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 Uh, at first, I was like, "What is this?" Because there's rice and bread. <laughs> Do you mix? You mix those together, and I feel very weird. But after I, it's interesting that you find it weird since you're Asian and you eat a lot of rice. <laughs> it, well, <laughs> and you're well, thrown off off fire. No, because it's combination with bread. Mm. Yeah. You know. But although it's probably pretty weird if you guys think some noodles of Chinese noodles are made from rice. No, we know that. You guys knew that? Okay. Rice noodles. Okay, so what do you, um, any other Finnish food you like? Um, other Finnish food that well, I What like? is your like overall image of what Finnish food is? Overall Finnish food. Like very uh, Nordic. I don't know how to describe what Nordic in my mind is, but kinda for plain. me, yeah, kind of plain, but still like a very rich, like flavor or you know. Oh, and another thing that I was really, uh, that another thing that I really like is that the kind of like pita bread thing, like dark. Ah, pita, riesco. Yeah, and it, just put butter on it. It's so good. I'm glad you like it. I, I remember, it, was it last summer, my mom bought daily like a bag that had like, I think four or five like Riesca breads and you ate it all yeah, in it, one it, sitting. Yeah, it's so simple. You just can put butter on it and then it's so tasteful and it's good. I, I, I cannot imagine doing that in the US though. Because mm -hmm. you know, they sell 
pita bread, but with butter it's, it, here. It's not it's, pita bread. Well. It's similar. It's more like a flatbread. Okay, so what are you most nervous about? Nervous about? Or scared about? To be honest, there's nothing really that I'm scared about. Mm, but there's some one thing that I'm a little bit worried is that uh, what if in some situation like how I should react or I shouldn't be reacting that way or you know the conventions like some very oh like do I shake hand do I go for the hug you mean like that kind of thing no those are I'm not worried like very weird like conventions can you give me an example. Uh, for example, like in China, you don't do this to another person's head. No, you don't I'm slap. Sla another. Slap, yeah. yeah. So yeah, we we I don't think we have anything like that. Of course, you're not allowed to smack anyone's face, but of course, I think everyone knows that. Okay, um, do you think you'll ever learn the language, or are you even gonna try? I w I'm trying. Yeah, uh, I think I would be able to acquire some. Mm -hmm. But I don't think I can learn it completely. Mm -hmm. Maybe in 15 years you will see me speaking broken Finnish or I don't know. Probably. Okay, um, what is the first thing that pops into your mind when you hear, hear the word Finland? Finland. Finland, it's... I don't know. Uh, in my... Geographic class that I had in my high school, we did Finland. Geography it's a country. Class, yeah. Yeah. It's a country. Well, before that, I've never heard of a country called Finland. Uh. And then, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. How do you think your life is going to change? Like compared mm. to, we've been living here now for almost two years. So, how do you think your life's going to change? I think my life is gonna change quite a bit, but not a lot, because I've lived in a lo uh, several countries and I get used to uh, the conventions or the culture pretty quickly. Change, yeah. yeah, so I don't think I will like change completely, but I w I would say probably I'll be able to find another me mm. like discover the nordic you <laughs> delhi 2.0 delhi 2.0 <laughs> yeah and i think since you know for the past few years it's just been me and you so and from now on it will be just me and you so yeah but I i'm really i'm really excited about like meeting new people or having our friends over mm -hmm. from Olu or we go visit Olu it's so close yeah and uh, you know yeah just uh, just being able <coughs> to see our real friends like more than once a year you know mm -hmm. we we can fly to Olu at any time and they can fly to Helsinki any time yeah or, you know it's way easier yeah sure. I'm, I'm excited about that you know yeah because like right now we're living in Hawaii Every time when you want to visit your friends, you have to fly across the whole globe to visit your friends. Yeah. And that is pretty painful, I would say. How, how many hours again? Well, it depends. But yeah, flying is painful. Like it's over painful. 20 hours, right? At least. Yeah, at least over. It's like 24 hours usually, at least. Yeah, and, then, and at the same time you get bloated like a balloon. You know, oh, the thanks. airplane, air pressure. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Um, this is my final question to you. Are you going to take on any Finnish activities? Such as ice hockey, um, uh, going to sauna every day. Yeah. Swimming uh, in the frozen lake, anything like that. I love that. to do those, like sauna, swimming in the frozen lake. Are you going to learn how to skate, ice skate? Ice skate? I know how to ice skate. <laughs> oh, yeah, I would love to do that too. But I would kind of have a karma when I was not karma. Yeah, karma. What do you? Call you it? had a karma. 
Like when I was little, I smacked my head really hard. Oh, well, you have I, a bad experience? Yeah, I traumatized. Oh, you're traumatized. Okay. Yeah. What do you think of sauna? Sauna is good. That doesn't make you any nervous in any way. Oh, although the there was once I went to Finnish sauna in Finland. I saw people were butt naked, and that was so weird. And I saw some other um, tourists too. They had like uh, swing pants on, and they were from United States. And I was talking with them like how weird this culture, the culture is. <laughs> but like in some, sometimes we were just talking about, is it gonna be weird if we don't take off our swim shorts? Yeah. <laughs> well, it, it but is. But you've always kept your trunks on, right? No, the after that time, I didn't have. <gasps> oh, wow! Yeah, actually, uh, you know, uh, when you're naked, when you go into sauna, mm. like you know, the uh, atmosphere is very awkward. Mm. But when you start talking mm. with something with your with a person next to you, immediately you're able to like they, they will start into like having a conversation like with you like and I think like once you're once everything is taken off you're kind of on the same level you yeah know? you don't have your fancy watch on or your suit on you're all sitting there yeah. okay the awkwardness uh, creates some sort of uh, conversation mm. yeah okay. and I met one of my friend there mm. at first time yeah <laughs> it was weird but but still, yeah. good experience. That's the Finnish way to make friends, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Do you have anything else you want to say about Finland, the language, anything? Finland is a beautiful country, and um, I don't the see. The women are I don't, great. The women are great. <laughs> I don't see the reason why I shouldn't go there or move there. I think overall it's very wonderful country and wonderful people. Sorry for a second there, we ran out of battery. But yeah, thanks for watching this video. Yeah. And I think that from now on I'll be posting like, posting a video like every two weeks. It's okay. fun to do as well. Yeah, it is fun. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It's Mrs. Elena Deli. And Delio is Coolio Delio. Yeah, Coolio Delio. If you if you like, you can follow me too on yeah. Instagram. All okay. right. Bye, guys.